I do numerous jobs for people, <coughs> but it, uh, as I always say, the uh, to do a job is less than half the job. The remainder is clearing up afterwards and sourcing materials and so forth. Anyway, I've got myself loads of uh, discs, and because they're of this material, very very shiny. Um, they won't stick very well. I want one shiny surface as a release agent. And as I want to stick them to this also nice and shiny plastic, I'm going to have to abrade one side. I've tried different glues. I've tried Loctite. Uh, PVA obviously is not no good. And uh, contact adhesive. It's okay, but I want something that... Um, goes right flush and so I'm going for a, a little super glue tiny little dot in the in the middle so in order to abrade these a little bit I've got some 800 wet and dry and uh, take a shiny so well, that probably doesn't show it but uh, just that provided I don't touch it that's sort of matte, matte white. If I do the same to this, they'll stick on there beautifully. Okay. My targets are designed specifically for my my needs. And I've looked at other let's get in shot. I've looked at other reactive chalk targets and um, there's uh, one mate that's got a little tiny hole about there. And the idea being you could hang it on a paper clip, a pin, whatever you. Um, but uh, my system wasn't going to be hung up like that. And in fact, what I had thoughts on was a hopper with loads of these in. Well, not these, but the chalk ones, obviously. And auto-fed down a system. That was the idea, so I'd had no need for the hole. But while I'm making this plug, I thought, well, I'd be silly not to incorporate that in, in there. Um, because uh, once it's in the plug, and, and therefore in the mould, they would be produced all the time. So I've decided to incorporate a tapered hole at that point. In order to make a tapered hole and it needs to be tapered so that uh, it releases. I put a 1364 drill or shank of an old drill in the electric drill and we just put a taper on the end of this. Okay, well the progress so far, I'll put 6 by 12, 6 by 12, 72, uh, 72 in one go. So what I've got to do now is put a, a bit of a gallery around this, and this will be the, uh, the plug complete. Do, do, do. 
colleague I know runs a, a shooting gallery in a circus fair and uh, he's got he wanted some means whereby uh, the targets could be you know uh, loaded up automatically and I just codged up a bit of uh, 
plastic, a few bits of wood to get an idea um, of, of what the loader would be. And you can see it's nothing more than a cam that moves the slide. And this deposits a, a target out and this runs down an inclined plane to the target holder. And as you can see there's a string attached here and they just simply pull on the string and it's foolproof. Absolutely foolproof, right? It can't possibly go wrong. Well, I made six of these. Not plastic and bits of wood, but all out of aluminium, stainless steel with a much larger hopper. And uh, he had it for a few months. And out of the six, one was uh, unreliable and one broke. So I said, well, how on earth, how, how on earth do they break them? And he said, well, the punters get excited and they yank on the cord. Some had shot up the mechanism. <laughs> so, uh, all in all, he was none too pleased. So, I said, well, I don't know how we're going to get over that other than take the, the human element out of the equation altogether. But, um, you know, nothing's foolproof. How the hell we ever got men on the moon, I never know. Anyway, um been some interesting developments from there on. So we decided to go down the electrical path if you like and I've got loads of microwave oven uh, turntable motors. I use a lot of these. Um, they usually go about three to five revs per minute. Little geared synchronous motors. And uh, you can use these for all sorts of things, turntables and so forth. Anyway, because it's got electric on board, as I say, we use these for uh, for the uh, auto loaders and uh, target presentation. And uh, that seems to overcome the problem. And what we've got here, pan up. What we've got here is all I have to do is push a button and we have a pop-up uh, target, whatever. And he's come up with numerous novelty type targets to shoot at which has proved quite popular Let's come down here and instead of the button you see me use we're using because he had various fruit machines and gambling machines you've probably seen these things that you push on gambling machines and they're nothing more than a a micro switch and uh, this action pushes a micro switch. Well, you've all seen people use these things. They're, they're meant to go like that. You see them thump them and do all sorts of daft things. Well, no matter how hard you hit these things, um, the speed might go to the micro switch, but the force does not. It's stopped here, so you're wasting your time thumping those. <laughs> so we set up those, and uh, it's been going quite a few months now, and we've had no problems whatsoever. Um, he's currently, this is, where are we, January, February, he's currently uh, in Ireland at the moment. Um, I don't know if they're travelling or what, but uh, in the summer they should come back to, to the UK, and if he's in my part of the world, I'll take the camera along, because some of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, setup he's got is, is pretty interesting, I think. Okay, well there's quite a few layers on there now. Um, not as many as there should be, I might add. But as this is the first one, first mould I'm going to release, I'm very keen to see how it's turned out. So we'll just help it along by removing one of the parts of the gallery here. screws over there, that's it, and that one, what I could have done if I didn't want to put too many layers on here I could have backed this up with uh, a fiberglass backing and just had a thin membrane, but uh, like all these things once you start them you, you can think of alternative ways of doing things. Anyway, more on that another time. This should come off, hopefully. Yep. 
Yep. Put that up there. And then this should lift. Doing this live, guys. There's always a few little straggly bits. May have helped if I'd have warmed this. Careful not to tear it. It's trapped in the corner there. That's okay so far. Those pieces aren't important. Scissors. Little bits have gone underneath the gallery. Oh well, we'll, we'll see that next time, eh? I'll we'll just cut that. That's tougher than you think. See. Oh well. We'll know next time. Okay. Move that out of the way. There's our mould. This we can trim off. It's got most of the little There's a couple that are very, very thin, but uh, we live and learn. Number one. Well, this wasn't too bad. Due to my impatience, I've lost one, as you can see there. But uh, anyway, it's told me that this is uh, going to be ideal. So I've started another mould, as I require quite a few of these. And, as you've probably gathered, the actual targets are made of plaster. Um, you could use a plaster of Paris, which is a white fine grain plaster, reasonably cheap. But the trouble is, the setup time on it is 5 to 10 minutes at the most. So to do something this, this sort of size, i found the quickest way, and I'm waiting to get supplies, so I'm just explaining it, is to pour some in the middle, and then using the squeegee, just go over the top so that you just get these filled up. Uh, an old car windscreen wiper is ideal, a flat one of course. You can slow up the uh, setup time with plaster of Paris if you add some vinegar. Um, but it's a reasonably, it's a reasonably sort of tough uh, plaster and uh, the effects of being hit is pretty good. But uh, if you don't mind a little bit of fiddling, the ordinary DIY household uh, supply plaster, which is not white, and it comes up a, a browny light brown, like the little figure my mate my, uh, casts, and he casts those in latex. I made a latex one of these from a model he made in, in clay. Um, it's a different colour, but it's much softer and it's more dramatic when you hit them. So, depending on how many you want, um, what uh, route you want to go down. But there are other mixtures and other methods of doing this. And uh, since starting this project, I've come up with numerous ones. I'm going to tell you more about those later.